ask your analytics, which items in your website navigation are visitors engaging with? The answer to this question can be found in the behavior report, actually in several different reports. The in-page analytics report shows us the website itself with an overlay of all the percentages for how many people clicked on each item. I find this report to be a little bit buggy and sometimes difficult to use for analysis. Another place that we could look is in the behavior, behavior flow report, which shows how people move through the website and where they went from where at each level of interaction. If we click on a page, we can highlight traffic at that page, and it shows us where people went from that initial home page. But I think the best place to find the answer to the question, which items in our navigation are people engaging with, we could simply look at the content of the site, site content, all pages, and click on the home page. From the home page, we can now click on navigation summary and see all the next pages in the next page path from, this, from the home page through the rest of the site. We can see that 20% of visitors went to the portfolio, 20% went to the web design page, 15% to about 12% to contact, and 10% to the blog. If we look at the site itself, we'll notice that this very closely mirrors the actual order of the navigation. So we see the navigation on this site is very carefully optimized. There's only five items. Each of them are almost equally balanced in terms of interaction. But this type of analysis often shows that there are items in the navigation that rarely, rarely get clicked on, in which case we might decide to either make those items more prominent or possibly remove them completely. So that answers the question, which items in your navigation are people engaging with? If you've got a question about activity on your website, start by asking your analytics.